Well go on traders, you are the traders here again guys. So I've been saying this for the past three, four weeks, guys. Hit me up in the comments if you remember what I was saying. There was a huge level of open interest for today. 107 in terms of call options. And I am trying to figure out what was happening, guys. I thought it was maybe uh, something to do with the Department of Energy. I thought it was something to do with trying to get mulling up to a dollar before you know the Russell deadline but guys we have some new breaking news guys lots will be happening guys so let me just dive right into it here so um, I did this video last night I, I, I didn't even want to wait for this morning I added it to my channel last night so I don't know if you guys got a chance to look at it but this is um, Lawrence Hodge I think this is going to be the savior for Mullen, guys. This will be the PR master for Mullen. I'm not going to dive into the video itself, but I'm just going to play a little bit of it and then kind of speak on it. So hang on. Make sure my volume is up. So this guy um, had a live stream last night um, on Facebook Live. And here's a bit of what he had to say. But I just want to make sure in no shape or form am I here to raise uh, stock value. Uh, well, what I will say, regardless of whatever may have been going on with Mullins and the timing of Mullins, uh, all of that has changed. Uh, Mullins is moving forward. Uh, my job is to make sure that they follow through on the promises and commitments that they have made. They have brought in a great team, a lot of engineers, uh, some of the top in the country, and I admire them for that because they kind of like myself. Keep quiet until you're ready to go. Don't call people to the kitchen to get a slice of the cake when it's still in the oven. Having to come and get a slice. All right, guys, don't know what happened there. My video just copped out, but I want you to go to that link, check out that video, guys, because what he spoke about um, I'm not going to get into the details I want you to actually watch that video um, and that video was from um, the name of it was um, Lawrence Hodge interview big announcement um, next well I guess it's today big announcement for today and it's from Chacha that is the, the name of the person who posted it I want you to check that video out guys because what he spoke about was lots happening behind the scenes with Mullen guys. Um, he had a um, non-disclosure um, arrangement, so he could not speak about anything before now. So what he's basically saying is that there will be huge news coming out today and even bigger news coming out on Monday. So I have been saying, guys, what's happening for the stock all this time for the past couple of weeks. Remember, I, uh, I keep showing you this, guys. Open interest was 107 for the past um, three, four weeks. So now we know what's, what's going to happen. You know, um, seems like, you know, there were persons who knew what's going on. Um, that's why the open interest were so high. And... You know anticipating that the stock is gonna make a move and it guess what guys it did last night look what happened we were at a low of eight cents and we popped all the way in the pre-market up to 13 cents guys that's like a 50% move up just last night so um, we came back down so we are still up in the pre-market. So let us jump into Yahoo Finance here. So as you can see, guys, we were down 5% yesterday, almost 6%. And look at what's going on in the pre-market. We are up 34%. So um, we had a little bit of sell-off yesterday. Um, 
we're, we're down to 321 million in terms of market cap but I am sure come today you're gonna see that running up guys it's gonna be huge so this guy actually spoke about you know a bit about his background um, what he has been doing um, things he has done but couldn't speak about as I said he had a non-disclosure um, agreement or arrangement whatever that is um, with different um, companies different um, car manufacturing companies and he spoke about the reason why he chose to work with Mullen so I want you guys to really listen to that video it's 30 minutes long I wouldn't want to play it um, you know for like a, during my little short video here in the mornings I want you guys to have to listen to it guys it's worth it's worth worth every minute minute of it so as you can see um, Mullen um, compared to the, to the market Mullen is 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 going crazy right now guys um, the market yesterday was basically flat the TSX flat S&P flat Dow is flat the comps lucid fell seven percent expand five and a half percent near almost six percent so guys I you know not financial advice guys but um, you know for the stock to be at where is it now at 11 cents guys and we are looking at you know the stock possibly running up um, between now and I would say between now and next week guys how high do you think this stock can go um, we know that by the end of next week the um, <clears throat> the stock would need to be above the one dollar mark to remain on the the Russell will it retest the one dollar guys <laughs> you know it's kind of crazy to think that because to test the one dollar from this level it will be about you know nine eight nine times the um, the multiple to, to get up to that one dollar limit guys but you so far you know based on the, the push in the pre-market seems like big things will be happening and the Lawrence actually said you know they're going to I think it was DC today to make a major announcement and he mentioned that not to announce that things are in the works to be tested whatever he mentioned that they, they are actually ready so who knows maybe they, they could be um, doing some live road testing today who knows and based on the new battery technology that increases you know battery um, charge up to 70% um, you know who knows so let's see and he did say that his birthday is on Monday um, that's Lawrence and he will be having even a bigger announcement then guys it's just crazy what's happening all right so let's take a look and see what's going on with the options because I always use my options as a guide in terms of you know it has worked in the past <laughs> when there's high open interest the stock always run up so the interest the calls that came in yesterday was 27,000 puts um, 1500 so this is basically um, a normal day for for Mullen but open interest for today guys is now at 108 it was at 107 108,000 so it's gonna be crazy guys expectation is crazy for today um, for next week 19,000 and for the following week 15,000 so you know guys uh, as I said I've been speaking about this for weeks now and just wondering why is it so high <laughs> you know uh, I'm not gonna say it's you know insider traders they know that yes this news is coming out that type of thing but it's it's gonna be big guys so if we get back to the chart as you can see the RSI has popped up from the over sold territory heading to the um, overbought territory it just popped up in one day guys the MACD is still pretty um, bearish but I'm sure by today it's gonna start running up 
So guys, I don't want to make this video too long, but you know, this is our good, good news for um, for Friday. Um, I would say, you know, listen to that video. We um, David need to put Lawrence in charge of his PR, guys. That's basically what I'm saying. So, um, you know, let's stay tuned, see what, what comes out today. Um, I'm hoping that whatever he said, you know, comes through in terms of what you know what he has laid out in his video it sounds really really good guys he even did comparisons to you know the technology that he uses compared to tesla's technology so you know guys it's it looks it looks looking really good guys so as usual um you know uh, i don't wanna take too long with the video here so you know if you like this type of video as usual you know hit the like and don't forget to subscribe guys try to give you this content early in the mornings take care guys